we are going to discuss about passion fruits. Uh, here on Latia, we have planted the Brazilian yellow passion. Uh, it's a big fruit, uh, and it's we have put it, we have grown it on our, along our fence for our greenhouse area. Uh, one of the reasons we did that is, uh, first of all, the Brazilian yellow passion is quite resistant to many uh, soil borne pathogens. Uh, that is one of the reasons we planted it here. Number two, we didn't want our fence to remain bare. So it's carrying a crop now, which has got commercial value on it uh, because we sell the fruits. If you want to establish an orchard uh, where you've got a passion fruit, it's critical that you get the planting material from uh, uh, a source. Uh, you get, you start with healthy seedlings. Um, and uh, you have to inspect them for th things like, uh, do you have flies on them, white flies on them, you have thrips. You have to inspect and ensure that they're healthy for, for planting. Um, number two, before you plant, you've got to prepare your land well. So you've got to make sure the best dress fertilizer and properly composted organic manure is put in the planting holes and there's adequate watering beforehand. Because one of the mistakes farmers make is they come and try to do uh, the best dress fertilizer after planting or they plant on dry soil. So it's critical that you make sure that you plant in a place uh, that is uh, uh, where the, 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 the roots are properly uh, are covered and the soil is not dry. Um, number, number three, you need to ensure that you follow the correct spacing uh, from one plant to the next because sometimes you find the farmers planting them too close. Um, uh, sometimes they plant them too, too, too spaced apart, in which case you've got a very dense crop or you get um, land is wasted because you don't have enough plant population for you to get the actual yield. So the spacing has got to be, to be right. Um, number three, you've got to install a proper support system. You find the crop gets heavy at some point, uh, especially when it produces uh, the fruits. And uh, if the support stru structure is not uh, strong enough, you can have the whole structure collapsing and trying to raise it adds up in damaging the, the, the crop. So it's important that the support structure is planned well in advance and you use the right materials. For example here what we have used is we have utilized our fence, our, our fence to support this crop and it gets heavy. Um, we have 150 meters uh, running length of our passion fruit on our fence around our greenhouses. As I said, the Brazilian yellow passion is quite uh, resistant to many soil borne pathogens, and here it's aggressively growing and it's very, very good for, for, for grafting and serving as a rootstock. So it's important the farmers uh, know that and that they, they, can, they need that information. Um, for grafting purposes and uh, it's important that the farmers manage if you are going to place it on your fence make sure you manage it well so that it doesn't become too bushy because once it does that it will be very difficult to manage the insect pests and diseases because you need to intervene at some point uh, with, with your, your, your sprays and the penetration and coverage will be difficult if it is growing bush, bushy and wild so it's important that this constant management of the foliage uh, size. That was definitely great information from Latia Resource Center. Now moving on, let us have a look at how to segment than a thing or two. Today we are going to learn how to compost cow manure. The use of cattle manure or cow dung in the garden is a popular practice in many rural areas. 
This method is cheap because all that is needed is animal waste. Composting cow manure will enrich your crops with high organic materials that are rich in nutrients. After collecting the animal waste from the shed, select a suitable place for composition process. The area should be well drained. Spread the cow dung in several inches. Cow manure contains high level of ammonia and potentially dangerous pathogens. For this reason, it's usually recommended that it be aged or composted prior to its use as cow manure fertilizer. Therefore, cover with a polythene sheet for one week. The ready dried manure should look like this. When ready, collect the manure and use it on your crops. You can improve the overall health of your soil and produce healthy, vigorous plants.
Thank you so much for keeping us company through the show. Remember to catch us next week, same place, same time, on the same channel. Talk to us on our social media platforms, that is Arable Africa on both Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, talk to me on Twitter and let's share a thing or two. If you are a farmer and you want us to visit your farm and have a time with you, please reach to us on the phone numbers on your screen and the email addresses. So until next week, I have been your host, Faraji Kevin. Take care of yourself.